Hey guys, welcome to chapter seven, lesson one. Today we're gonna to be talking about non-numeric patterns. So non-numeric means patterns that don't involve numbers. They could involve pictures. Um, yeah, basically we're gonna be looking at pictures. So to kind of get into a pattern or into a uh, looking for patterns before we jump into numeric patterns tomorrow. So first off, let's look at a definition here. It says a pattern is a list of numbers, figures, or symbols that follow a rule. So we're gonna be looking for that rule. In this lesson, you will use and describe patterns that do not use numbers, non-numeric. Um, many non-numeric patterns are shape patterns. So if you remember when you took your COGAT test, that you had to deal with a lot of shapes and being able to look at shapes and notice the small differences in shapes really is a great tool uh, to help you in math. So let's get started. So our first example here, and hopefully you guys, I don't know, I feel like we've been doing a lot of heavy stuff with this long division and problem solving. So I'm hoping this will be a little bit of fun, a little bit of a brain break. Uh, here we go. Example one says Edgar's room has a border of stars and moons. The stars and moons show a repeating pattern. How many figures are in this pattern unit? Copy and extend the pattern one time. So if we look at a unit, it's where, what are all the things that happen before it starts repeating itself? So we notice in this pattern unit, uh, we, our pattern is one star, two moons, one star, two moons. So each pattern unit has one star and two moons. The pattern repeats, and if I were to extend it one time, I would do star, moon, moon. Now, does it look as pretty as there? No, but like we get it, right? Oh, shoot, I was supposed to do it down here. Star, moon, moon, star, moon, moon, star, moon, moon. There are blank figures in this pattern unit. There are still three. Here's the pattern unit, you guys. Okay, here's the pattern unit. There are still three. How many figures are in this pattern unit? There are still three. I don't know, you guys. I'm guessing, I don't know if it wants us to do six. I think it just wants us to say three. So we're gonna go three. Because they said up here, this is a pattern unit, the stuff before it starts repeating. So we're gonna go with it. Patterns can also grow. They can get larger or smaller. So example two says, Sal uses billiard balls, which is just pool, like a pool table. You can play pool, to show a growing pattern. Use counters, do we have to use counters? No, we could just draw two. Uh, and to model and describe the pattern, then make an observation about the pattern. So if we're looking here, we have one in the first row, two in the second row, three, four, five, right? Um, each row adds one more billiard ball. So place blank counters in the second row, two, and three counters in the third row. Continue ha adding counters until you have five rows. The pattern is add one. Here's our pattern, add one. Right, one plus one is two, two plus one is three, three plus one is four, plus one, plus one, plus one. The number of billiard bars in each row alternates between odd and even is another observation we could say, right? Odd, even, odd, even, odd would be another observation because we're supposed to be listing observations. So um, that one wasn't so bad, let's keep going. Here we go, guided practice. Extend each pattern. So we've got a snail facing to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. Have fun drawing snails, you guys. <laughs> Here's what I'm gonna do. Circle, kinda comes out like this, goes up like this, antenna. <laughs> and then we're going this number, boop, 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 boop. There we go, there's my snails. Okay, left, or sorry, right, left. All right, so here we have triangle, circle, triangle, triangle, circle, triangle, 
triangle, triangle, circle. Okay, so I see one triangle, circle. Two triangle, circle. Three triangle, circle. It's one of those growing ones, right? So my next one is going to be four triangles. One, two, three, four triangles, and a circle. Uh, make another observation about the pattern in example two. Well, it's growing. What would be another observation? I suppose if you wanted to, even number of, or odd number of triangles circle. Even circle, odd circle, even circle. Let's make that observation. All right, extend the pattern. This is page 417. I just want to do a couple more. I know you get it, but sometimes it's good to look at a couple more examples. So we've got an up rainbow, up, down, down rainbow, up, down, up rainbow, up. So my next one is going to be a down and then a down rainbow, up, down. Okay, here we've got one. Three, six, um, really we're just adding another row right below it, right? So if I drew my three and my two and my one, I, could, I would have to draw four next. So I've got one, two, three, four. Um, with a total of four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Of ten. Interesting. Yeah, I was going to say, that's kind of weird. So what are we doing each time? That would be plus 2, plus 3, oh, look at this, plus 4, plus 5. The next one's going to have 15, which makes sense. So let's keep going. So we've got a heart facing to the left, 2, heart facing to the right, 4, heart facing to the left, Six, heart facing to the right, two, four, six, eight. Cut it in half here, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we need a heart facing to the right, left, left, sorry, to the left. So that's all I have for you for today. Thank you for watching and make sure you let me know if you have any questions on your assignment.